Lee Ainsley, CEO of Maverick Capital, likes to think about big themes and then drill down into a few companies that will be able to exploit those trends. Ainsley, who once worked for Julian Robertson's Tiger Asset Management as an analyst, is now thinking hard about cybersecurity. The Tiger Cub talks about hackers, as well as the bright spots and pitfalls facing investors over the next year. Well, from our perspective, in thinking about opportunities in the market today, I uh, point to two areas. First of all, M&A activity. Uh, year to date, it's the strongest year we've enjoyed since 2007, and I believe by year end we'll actually surpass 2007 in terms of number and magnitude of deals completed. This is really driven by the fact that corporations have been largely on the sidelines for the last few years, building up record cash balances, but finally you have an urgency created by one, the fear that rates in this low cost capital environment will not continue. And then secondly, tax inversions may change, and obviously Secretary Liu recently has been pushing that issue hard. Um, but also by the feeling that if in certain industries, especially media and pharma, that if companies do not participate, they'll be left behind. So you really are seeing this rush to, to take advantage of those opportunities today. And the other area in terms of a secular trend that we would point to is network security, cybersecurity. Uh, no CEO wants to be in the position that the target CEO was in earlier this year where their business was compromised through a cyber threat. And indeed, virtually every CEO and every CIO you speak to, this is priority number one. We live in a world that demands consistent and, and uh, very constant connectivity, uh, and therefore every company has to really dramatically change their ability to ward off these very serious threats, and that's driving very strong spending that we think will continue for many years. So in terms of M&A, that's really an important consideration for us on both the long side and the short side. And so really in every investment we make, we spend a lot of time trying to evaluate that potential. Uh, in terms of cybersecurity, uh, there are many ways of taking advantage of those very strong spending trends. And so to have companies with those strong free cash flows that are enjoying very strong growth rates, and growth rates that really are not dependent upon is our economy growing at 1% or 4% or do we taper quickly or slowly, but really driven by those secular trends which will demand continued spending, I think are attractive opportunities. The greatest concern we have right now is the unnatural suppression of risk premiums as a result of very aggressive monetary policy. But to put this in historical perspective, in 2011, S&P volatility hit 37%. Uh, that's a level that was not touched once between 1938 and 1988. So we went a 50-year period, and by the way, some important macro events in that 50-year period that never induced that type of volatility. After 1988, it happened again in 2002, so 14 years, from 2002 to 2008, which we all recall, six years, 08 to 11, three years. So clearly we're having these kind of volatility spikes with ever greater frequency, and yet just two weeks ago, the VIX is sitting at the all-time low. And so there's a great contrast between, I think, the threats of the world we live in, both in terms of monetary policy, the impact of tapering, the impact of what's happening in Europe, Japan, but also in just in terms of crises that we're facing around the world. And I don't think that's being appropriately priced today. As we've seen in the past, when those sort of volatility spikes happen, it typically is a challenging environment. So we're really keeping that, those risks in mind as well.